Hello YouTube, hello America, hello the world. This is Eric at FlexPVC.com. This is one of the most confusing products we sell, a Venturi, okay? There, I made a whole nother video on Venturis, how to size them and things like that. But I'm making this Venturi video because there are some things about Venturis that I didn't fully discuss in the other video. You have it in, you have it out. A little hole in the middle. Pressure comes this way, high speed water comes out this way, creates a vacuum in this chamber, sucks whatever's here through. Generally this is air or some sort of gas. You can draw a liquid, but it's much harder, okay? But here's the part that people don't get. This in particular is a one inch tube. We call this a one inch Venturi T. Why is it called a one inch Venturi T? Okay. Because one inch pipe, which I don't have any one inch pipe. Oh wait, right here. Yeah. Okay, so because one inch pipe would go into this end. Okay? One inch pipe. It turns out that on this particular fitting, three quarter goes in this side. Three quarter. Okay, this is a three quarter spigot fitting. Here's three quarter pipe, if you don't believe me, three quarter pipe goes into this side. Okay? Three quarter pipe also goes into the port, the vacuum port, three quarter pipe. So on this particular venturi, you got three quarter here, you got three quarter in here, and you get half, uh, one inch on the output. Okay, one inch pipe. However, this is also a nested fitting. What is a nested fitting? A nested fitting is a fitting that goes in and into. Okay, here is a three quarter inch couple. Three quarter inch couple. Sorry, I shouldn't use that. In. Three quarter inch couple. Three quarter pipe goes into it. However, it also is a one inch spigot, meaning I can put it into a one inch fitting. It's nested means it goes both ways. You can put one size smaller in or itself is a spigot fitting. This is a spigot fitting. Okay. It's a slip fitting and it's a spigot fitting. Okay, so are most of the Venturi's, okay? I showed you three quarter goes in, three quarter goes in the side, one inch goes in the out. However, uh, one inch, I'll just use this one. This is a one inch spigot, meaning it will go into a one inch fitting. So the outside is the same size as one inch pipe. One inch pipe is the same size. I'll hold these up together so you can see, hopefully. Let's see, right about there. Okay. So, one inch spigot. Also one inch spigot on the venturi on the, on the on the excuse me on the suction port. It's also one inch. Okay, so I could put a one inch fitting here. I could put a full one inch fitting here. Can I put a one inch fitting here? Nope, because it's the same size. This is already a one inch slip socket, meaning one inch goes into it. Okay. Some fittings are designed like this to be a nested fitting. It was designed to do two functions: slip socket goes in, three quarter inch pipe, or one inch. Outside diameter, well, it's 1.31 because that's the outside diameter of one inch pipe, and it would go into a one inch fitting. Okay? Some fittings are accidental. They just so happens they will fit. They, when they initially uh, designed the mold, they didn't intentionally do it, or maybe somebody did, but it's not sold that way. But we have several fittings that are a one inch spigot, three quarter spigot on the outside, just out of coincidence. Venturi's just throws people off all the time. These are three quarter inch slip socket or one inch spigot. All right, I know I'm repeating myself a lot, I apologize. But this is something that really a lot of people struggle with. So I wanted to make a video about it. I hope you found this useful. Hope I didn't confuse you too much. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. Thank you very much.